welcome back everybody to the BSG Lustrum. In a moment we'll have Napumuk showing off ink. Um, so yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not gonna let this go much longer. Uh, Napumuk and someone, take it away. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm Napumuk. I'm here with someone, and I'm gonna run ink. And. Uh, I'm going to try to reminisce about BSG a bit, but this is a game that takes a lot of focus, so we'll see how it goes. Can I right away say how much I appreciate the capsule on there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all miss it a lot. We all, like, it's been a year, you know, so I really miss the capsule on. Understandable. Okay. Someone, you want to do a countdown? All right. And three, two, one, let's go. So, yeah, this is Ink. It's a game that's been shown off at BG multiple times. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe both you and Bad RNG have shown it off a few times. Yeah, Bad RNG did it first, actually. He's the one who saw me run Ink and he got me into BSG. Right. Uh, currently, you're still the world record holder, I believe, so... Yes. There's been little I, uh... competition in the in the past two years. Seven. Right. I mean, it is a pretty hard game. Um, it's also a rather short game for the amount of skill it brings. I, I know this chat loves the Capsalon. I'm glad to hear that. We all love the Capsalon. Yeah, yeah we, we spoke about it earlier, but uh, I believe you uh, are a fan of Stop Apples as well. Oh, yes. Just, I can't wait for the pandemic to end uh, just so I can go get my Dutch food. Like Oli Bolle and all that stuff. Alright. That reminds me, I haven't eaten any of those this year. There's so much stuff I still need to do. Either way, um, so yeah, flushes of ink, enemies. It's uh, the game gets more difficult as it goes on, uh, but yeah, everything is invisible, so... Um, you have to ink by jumping around, and um, yeah, so most of the stuff that is gonna be skipped this game, you won't actually see because it won't be inked at all. I'll try to point it out here and there, but uh, yeah. Um, how has ink actually evolved during the time it was shown at BSG? <laughs> Good question. Um, we definitely improved. A whole, I just think like we just found a whole lot of small improvements because this isn't the game where you just find one skip that's gonna save a minute it's like half a second here and half a second there that and, stacks up though and it's yeah and it just stacks up so you just gotta grind it out if you really wanna wanna go faster there's like no one hit wonder skip that makes you suddenly go fast. Yeah, in fact, I'm quite happy that there's no big skips, otherwise this game would be even shorter. I mean, it's the, the boss animation skip. That's probably the biggest. If you could pull them off for every boss, I would say that's the biggest. Right, speaking of, we're almost coming up to the first boss already, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, so um, guess what? The boss will be a block. Big spoiler, um, and yeah, if you die at the same frame as the boss does, you can skip a very colorful animation. At the and end. I cannot do that consistently. Heads up. So if I try, I'm just gonna die. So I'm, I'm not gonna try. But this whole animation takes like four seconds or so, and you can skip that. Yeah, the second boss has a setup for it, but it's a bit RNG, and the third boss has a pretty consistent setup, but uh, it's also 50-50% chance to get it, because it's rather yeah, difficult Yeah, you have to, to get set the, the setup, and then you have to get the right timing, and it's relatively precise. Yeah. Okay, so I see a question in chat. <laughs> Matt said, that's my girlfriend. Piara asked, the Capsalon or never? <laughs> <laughs> Why not both? That's what he replied. <laughs> he did reply both. 
That, that's why you, how you can see they're in sync. So, Nepu, how did you get to be a she in the first place? Um, yeah, so I started speedrunning and that RNG messaged me uh, on Steam. I think because he saw me um, that I submitted a time on speedrun.com and he was the one who told me, you know, there's this, this Dutch thing going on where we do speedruns. You should, you should come by. You should run too. And I was too shy at first, so it took me a few months. And then I finally like gathered up the courage and came. And actually, that's been over four years ago. I can't, I can't believe like how long that um, that was. Because it doesn't. It well, just doesn't feel that long. What were your first impressions when you uh, arrived? Uh, I was super nervous, and cruel made me feel super welcome. So that's why I kept coming back because him and like everybody's just so friendly and inviting. I can, I can totally agree with that. So it, it's just a really cool community. So what's the first time you tried Capsalon also at BSG? Um, yes, it was actually the first the first annual I saw Nienna eat it and I was like, what's this? And I tried it and I was in love. It's greasy, tasty goodness. That's fair. Since then, I just, every time I went to the Netherlands, I tried to get at least one capsule on. So what's your favorite BSG moment, if you have any? Really tough question, I know. Oh man. Um... <laughs> You're putting me on the spot here, man. I would say Barney was pretty good. Barney Solid base, no doubt. Yeah. That reminds me, the annual before. <laughs> I said sorry, but I forgot you somehow. Oh yeah, that's right. The first time you, you came, you came for one day in the night and you stayed up the, the entire night, I think. So your yeah, brain was did. kind of fried. And the next yeah, year, no. you introduced yourself and I'm like, dude, we spent time before. Yeah, I, my brain was completely fried, I'm sorry. Either way, both annuals were amazing. Did you actually manage to avoid the BSG beat on 2018? Uh, no, I did get them. I didn't get them so badly, but I think between the Wednesday and Saturday, I spent like 14 hours a day in bed. So I missed about half of the event. Mm, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Fair enough. By the way, we're coming up into the last world, which is rather difficult, so I'm expecting Nepu to fall quiet here and there. Yeah. Um, so, to take it back up, um, homing turrets have been added to the game, which really massive patterns, because some of these worlds are actually just copies from World 1. Um, they are rather uh, irritating sometimes. And alongside those, keys have been added that open key blocks. Uh, I'm assuming you're still going for key skip yes. in... Uh, yeah. Uh, I just realized something. The most epic moment, now that I think about it, was the epic bit war between Yenna and Indy. Like, oh yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that. What, what, well, that was, so that's, what happened? That's before your time, someone. Yeah, I figured, but what what uh, what was that about? Cruel, can you summarize? Real yeah, sure. Um, so basically, uh, back in BSG 13, 12-ish, around there somewhere, um, there was a bid war for the name in Dark Souls. Uh, it was between Poyo and Lava Boost. And it started as a pretty friendly bid war. I, I was asleep when it started, so I didn't actually catch the first part. 
Um, because I had I'd, I had done the night run, and at some point Jasper called me out of bed saying, "We just passed a thousand, and we're still going." And um, that was like way more than you usually got at that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around back back then, we we probably averaged around five to six hundred a marathon. We we've had a few that hit a thousand, uh, and I think one that hit two thousand, but that was around what we were getting. And it basically ended up boiling down to a massive bit war between Indy uh, and Niena, and then like a few other people here and there helping along between those two names. And it it was crazy. So how much was raised in the end? Uh, 3,000 something. <laughs> Uh, that's that a lot of that single insane. incentive raised about two and a half thousand. That is insane, and that was for monthly, right? Yes, this was a monthly. And right. just to add to that, the um, I, I think those two names alone accounted for like eighty percent of what was raised for just just across the entire marathon and at the very end we were actually uh when we were closing the incentive very last second both of them dropped oh. like a massive amount <laughs> because that one uh, both they both tried to trump each other at the very last second right um something fun to note about the enemies in this game is that you actually can always kill them as long as you have downwards momentum <laughs> even when you shouldn't be able to kill them because you're hitting them from the side i believe as long as you're going down the enemies die it's a, it's a very interesting game in terms of physics Beck says they remember reading out many Niena donations back then. Remembers because like, they were having pronouncing her name in the start. I just remember Kinnan completely frustrated during the run before because he could barely commentate because donations just kept coming in. Yeah, that was the last run before uh, before the Dark Souls run. I think Mr. Broad was also a bit uh, under pressure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's kind of how Lava Boost became uh, a meme. So if you're subbed, this is a great moment to just post your Lava Boost emote. Still active. The Lava Boost is indeed a great, uh, great emote. Okay, I, I was actually wondering what the story behind Lava oh. Boost was. So yeah, this is the story behind BSG Lava Boost. Makes me wonder what are the story between some of the other emotes we have. Well, I don't need to ask why BSG Borg is an emote, that, that one I have experienced. Yeah, I think none of them are have much of a story behind it besides that one. I mean, Snug is the comfy environment that BSG is. I mean, I think, I, I, I find that a very Can interesting scene with... Alright, so uh, we can skip the last key here by going below. It's, it's uh, just making use of the physics and abusing it. Uh, so that we don't need to pick up a key saves about, I don't know, 5 seconds? Uh, maybe 3? I guess it depends on if you get it first try or second try. And uh, yeah, we're coming up on time. Um, time. <laughs> it's always over so fast. Yeah, for sure. Well, congratulations on the run. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. Um, yeah, BSG is great. It's it's a great opportunity uh, to reminisce. And I hope you have fun with all the remaining runs. So take care, everyone. For sure. Thank you, Nepu, for uh, joining us for Ink. And thank you, someone, for joining us here as well. Um, it was, I, I'll admit, I was very glad to see you uh, make a return with Ink for uh, for this event. It's We've seen this many a time, and it's always such a fantastic game to, to see. And I think you may have already convinced at least one person to play this game very soon. Oh, that's a good outcome. My, my boyfriend was sitting right next to me, and he was like, Oh, this game looks really cool. Really tough, Ooh. but really cool. Go for it, so. Duncan. New runner soon. 
Uh, I mean, I don't know about that, but I'll, I'll, I'll who knows, you know, who knows. But, uh, but yeah, that was uh, a blast to watch. Next up, we uh, are going to go into a bit of an intermission, and then we have probably the hardest to pronounce game on the entire schedule. We're going to go to Rosen Rosenkreuz. And I know I'm already butchering it as it is. The only one that really can pronounce that is uh, is, is Rashla, let's be fair. Um, but yeah, uh, we are going to just get that set up and stay tuned. We'll be right back with you guys.